Now we spoke in length regarding the tactics of the enemy. This is, this is also sort of what we're talking about this morning because these improper and wrong ways, unbiblical ways to deal with the spiritual world and to, to, to engage in spiritual battle, uh, they are, as, as I would deem them, attacks of the enemy. They're lies that have seeped into the church or into churches, into different uh, groups that call themselves Christian, and they are not biblical. And we need to be aware of these things so that we can reject them or lovingly speak to someone who might be in practicing one of these things and encourage them to get out or to move away from these things. But if you're not aware, someone might say, hey, I'm, in, I'm doing this, and you'd be like, oh, cool. You, it wouldn't maybe even set up any red flags because you've never heard that term. You don't know what that is. Now, there are many ideas and practices today that people in the church might call spiritual warfare or spiritual preparation. I, I took a, a wide breadth here on some of the things I'm going to talk about this morning, and here's why. I think it's really important that you're aware of some of those, these major errors that have crept into the church. And I, and I say church like this because the church is alive and well. The gates of hell will never prevail against her. But the kingdom of God, which is oftentimes called the church, well, there are a lot that are professing the name of Christ today, but they're engaging in practices that aren't just unbiblical, but they are indeed doctrines of demons. They are indeed evil. And they will produce bad fruit. And many of these things you may have never even heard of that I'm going to bring up this morning, but I I'm, I'd be willing to bet that after this morning, sometime in the near future, or maybe far future, someone's going to bring up one of these things, and you're going to have a red flag, and some information's going to pop. You're going to go, oh yeah, that's not good. And, and you're, going to, you're going to recognize it for what it is. Jumping right in. You guys ready? Put your seatbelts on. Strap in. Demonology. Demonology, the definition of demonology is the study of demons or of demonic belief. That definition alone should tell you I have, should have nothing to do with it. I could just stop there, right? Here's the thing. In order to fight the good fight of faith that Paul has called us to, and by the way, when he was talking about that, that's spiritual warfare on every level. We are fighting the good fight of faith. In order to do that, we do not need to become experts on demons. You don't need to become a demonologist. I don't want to be a demonologist. I'm not interested in knowing everything that there is to know about demons. Which, by the way, I think I actually do because the Bible doesn't say a lot. And if I'm going to be a demonologist, I guarantee... I'm stepping into all kinds of literature and ideas and, and ancient trend, uh, manuscripts and, and things that are completely unbiblical. Listen, demons are liars, just like Satan is a liar. And they would love to have us spend our time and energy doing deep studies on them. Like I said, if you look at the leading demonologists, which I don't even know, seriously, like you would have like a name tag, I am a demonologist. I study demons. Okay. They, they look at out, out, uh, extra biblical information mostly. You know why? They run out of things to look at in the Bible pretty quick. There's not a whole lot that they can glean in all of these ancient texts that are uh, outside of the canonized Bible. You know, there are some good ones. You can read some stuff from Josephus. Um, the Maccabees has good, good uh, history. Um, even the uh, book of Enoch could be considered a fairly good extra-biblical book, but it's not the Bible. And you can't take it all and trust all that it says and just, and just put all of your weight on it. You cannot. You cannot do that. Only the Bible gives us that. 
Only the Bible can, can support all of your weight in truth and never be shaken and know that it is God's word completely. Completely. There is really no good reason to go into a deep study on demons. Demons. 